Three. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Guillermo. That's me. Welcome back. Are we on right now? We're on. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Welcome back, my friend. How you been? Good man. I've been Good. Now, I mean, you had you had a brand new opportunity this season, and we're going to talk a lot about that uh, coming up. But man, uh, what a historical and, and a great run you had uh, over at Six Flags. Um, uh, for now, I, I would assume that 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 chapter is closed. But if ever an opportunity or a time I, that you have to go back, I, I'm pretty sure all you boys would would take it for at least a night, you know, or something, just to do it one last time. But for now, that chapter is now closed. It was a wonderful chapter of your life. Your new chapter, Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Talk to me, man. What was what was the decision process this this past year of wanting to try something new? Dude, well, in all honesty, I thought I was gonna retire for good. Like that, that was in the plans. Like I thought I was just gonna hang up the knee pads and just call it a day. You know, like I had uh, Matt. The pink clown moving out of state. Uh, Nate, the blue clown, didn't know what he was going to do. So I, I pretty much assumed everybody was going to be done. And, you know, um, you know, if my friends weren't going to do it, I thought maybe, you know, it's like, well, let's just enjoy a haunt season and, uh, you know, just just relax and just take it take it easy, enjoy a retirement. But um, once I found out that. Uh, blue clown was gonna go do uh an audition i just couldn't leave him hanging like by himself you know i was just i was like well if my boy's gonna do it i'm gonna do it too you know i, I had fomo pretty much yeah so uh once, oh, he, once he once he went i was like all right let's do it let's do it we both had the same audition day and uh uh it's funny because he actually had an earlier audition time than i did because i didn't think i was gonna make it on time um and for some reason i got out of work early and uh i shot up over to universal and i made it before he did and um yeah i uh went to the audition before he did dude um you know talk about going into an audition like universal studios man i mean uh you know i we're not here to like you know um, you know, try to get any secrets or anything like we don't want to know how the audition goes. We want to know from a perspective of your nerves going into it and how it was different from things you've done in the past. Um, so what what was this? How was this audition different from others like that you've done in the past? And what was uh, your nerves going into this one? My nerves going into this, like, honestly, I'm going to I'm going to be straight up. I had all the confidence in the world just because of my experience at Six Flags. You know, we were those guys like going in. So I was like. It's just like any other audition, you know, they say no, they say no. And that's my mentality that I was going through it uh, when I went through it. Um, you know, the worst they could say was no. And I was like, you know what, let's just give it all I got, you know, the best that I can give them. And if they like it, they like it. If not, OK. You're like, all right, made my, my decision right there, you know. Yeah. Respect so it. the nerves, nerves in there. I mean, I didn't. I felt like I didn't really have any, I've, you know, I, as cocky as that sounds, like I just felt pretty confident because I know what I'm, my experience and my worth. Um, but yeah, the audition process is, it, it was a lot of fun, honestly. Like, uh, you know, it's just a bunch of people that I didn't know. So that was maybe a little nerve wracking just cause like I had people watching me that I wasn't familiar with. And then people in the audition with me, I had like no idea and people are like talking and like, Oh, what's your experience? What's your experience? Little they didn't know they were standing next to a legend, you know? <laughs> oh man. The one and only green clown himself. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, you know, p- people had different experiences and uh, you know, I just kind of kept my mouth shut. I didn't want to like, Oh, I'm the green clown from six flags. So I just kind of kept it, kept it to myself. Yeah, went in kind of like with a clean, fresh slate, and almost like a whole like, all right, I did that chapter. That was fun. Let me try something new. Let me go just 
see what we can do, have fun here. Yeah. Exactly. No, I mean, because, you know, you, you talk about a season like this one, man. This was already going to be a, a stack season. You know, little did we know after everything was fully announced, you know, this was going to be one of the best seasons that we've had in a long time. And to be part of something special like that, of a record-breaking year for Halloween Horror Nights, man, that's got to feel special on its own right there. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Um, You know, like, I've been a fan since 2007. Like, that's the very first year I started going to Halloween Horror Nights. And, you know, not because I worked there, but, like, as a horror fan, the lineup was freaking awesome. Like, I was so excited to be part of that. Like, you know, last year, 2021, uh, you know, they had some great uh, mazes, great houses, um, you know, just come like easy. I felt like it was like easing back to like normality, you know, but yeah. this year it just was like, all right, let's go all out. And that's pretty much what HHN did. And I was excited to be part of it. Like, oh man, what a, what a great opportunity for us to like jump ship and just, um, you know, give them, give them the best that I could give them, you know? And I, I was, I was really honored to be part of this season. Yeah, no, dude. I mean, it, you, you talk about a good season like this one. I mean, there were so many great original mazes. There were so many great IP mazes, you know, and 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 there were so many great collaborations this season. Um, and, and you got to, you know, you got to do a couple different things, which was a lot of a lot of fun for you. Now, uh, so talk to me about what, what was it like uh, after you auditioned? You got the phone call. Like, how did that go for you? Um. So after the audition, um. You know, they they made you they make you wait. Um, they're they're finalizing like who they're gonna keep and stuff. And um it's funny because they went from I think my number was the lowest. So they went backwards and I was like, I was kind of scared because I was thinking like, oh man, they're picking like the higher numbers. Like I wonder if like, you know, if I'm gonna get picked or not. And they start going down and I like realized like halfway through, like, oh, they're going, they're going backwards. And I'm freaking out. I was like, oh man, they're probably not going to call me. They're not going to call me. And then sure enough, they, they called my number and I was like, oh, hell yeah. Like, and it was only a very select few, which is crazy. Like, you know, it was a big audition group and maybe out of my group, six people made it. So I was like, oh wow. man. Yeah, so it it was crazy. Like you know, my nerves were like, "Uh oh, maybe I might not get this." <laughs> but uh, uh yeah. yeah. And After so that, you get casted, and you get casted in a in a a maze that hadn't been around since two thousand and 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 twelve was the last time we saw her here. Uh, Lyarona, the Weeping Woman. Like that must have been an honor of its own, right there, for you being a longtime fan as well. Oh, dude. Yes. Well, so get this. So after the audition, you do the scare actor audition. And then I went to the still audition. And um, so I went to the still audition and, you know, I was pretty confident in myself. You know, I don't have the most experience on stilts, but um, going into it, you know, I, I felt pretty confident that I was like, I can, I can hold my own. And, um, you know, I did the audition and they don't tell you right away. They, they're going to like, Oh, well, we'll call you. We'll, we'll let you know. Um, kind of thing. And then, uh, as soon as orientation rolls around, that's when they give you your role. And, yeah. um, you know, they, they show you around, they show you like, Oh, this is where you get this. This is where you turn in your costumes. This is, you know, they show you the ins and outs, you know, the basics. Yeah. And, um, at the end of the orientation, they give you, your paper and it says like what number you are what role you got and um you go from there and they tell you like you know like a, an itinerary of dates and like this is the time you need to be here for this, this is the time you need to be here for this um so i originally got casted in halloween and which was like wait no wait is this wrong like i think this is wrong and then i went to the guy i was like hey like I went to the still audition. I was just, I haven't heard back. Do you think this is like, like this is finalized or they're like, yeah, pretty much it's finalized. I was like, oh damn. Okay, cool. Which was still pretty cool. You know, to be an iconic character like Michael Myers, like that would have been yeah. so freaking awesome. And um, so I was pretty stoked about that. And then uh, a week later, 
um, I get an email and it says, Hey, uh, actually we were, um, wanting to know if you're still considering being a stilt walker. Uh, we'd like to offer you a role in La Llorona. I'm like, Oh hell yeah, let's go. What? Like, you know, being Hispanic and like knowing that story, like, Oh man, I, that was such a cool, like cool feeling. Like, you know, like, you know, my grandma used to tell me that story when I was a kid, like, Hey, be careful, like be good. Or, you know, La Llorona is going to get you. And, uh, you know, to, to be able to, uh, be a character that like I was afraid of when I was a kid, like what, what a, what a cool, like dream come true almost, you know? For real. For real. Um, so that was the story of that. Like that's, that's how I ended up in La Llorona. And, and and like I was saying, it's like for, for, you know, for you being a longtime fan, like you were, you, you, you went, you probably went through it in 2011, 2012. And yeah, you know, both, both years. It was it was a fucking fantastic maze at the time and and bringing it back and kind of giving a little like little touch up and stuff with new technology and whatnot. I mean, it, it still is as scary as it ever was. It was like a remake pretty much like because I remember going through that the very first year that it came out. And, you know, it, back then, like the makeup was, you know, not as good as it is now. The, excuse me. The masks weren't as good as they are now. And then um, to be able to be part of you know, like, I guess La Llorona 2.0, like, that was, that was amazing. Like, the, the makeup that they did on the girls, the mask that we got to use, like, everything was just so fresh, and it just felt brand new. Yeah. No, it, it literally was, like, a, it was kind of, like, almost a reboot directly, you know? It was just kind of, like, we're just going to touch this up a little bit and, and make it look like it's going to be a fun time and stuff. And it was. It really was. I, I enjoyed the hell out of La Llorona this year. It was, it was honestly good to see it. Uh, Sammy had never seen La Llorona uh, in person. He's always watched that. Uh, if you've seen it on YouTube, there's that, you know, um, behind the scenes walk through John Murdy that's on there uh, from like the 2012 or 11 uh, version of it. And uh, and then he's watched the walkthroughs of it. But to go through it, finally, it was kind of like a dream come true for him. So, no, I, I, I'm glad that a lot of people who who never got to see it back in the day were able to experience it now this was a good year for originals i mean you had scarecrow you had horror hotel you know you can even consider the weekend pretty much an original it's just a it's an original concept based around his music you know so um and universal monsters that's another original based around ips you know what i mean but their own original uh, spin on them um and it was a lot of fun it was you know i i really had a great time this year i mean but were you able i mean because you got to do not only only uh the fun part about what you got to do in Lyrona was um you got to work both in the maze and out, outside the maze talk a little bit about that experience and, and how that begun for you man that was that was cool too because like it it was nice because all of us stilt walkers in the zone and in the house we all had the same costume same mask so it wasn't hard for us to be like hey can I take a set from you or like because there's originally two guys that were casted um in the streets, you know, they were both doubles. Yeah. Um, so, so a couple nights, you know, like I'd be like, "Hey, are you tired? Like, I I'll let me fill in, or you know, if you're tired, let me know. I can I can take a set, a couple sets from you." Or there was times where they weren't even there that I would had to fill in, and it was a lot of fun. Like it's it's so much different um, from the from how from the house to the streets because it almost felt like you know we were we were caged up in the barn pretty much right you know so in the house that's what it felt like you know you got that little space and you could do you get your scares you know you're set up for success in the maze right um, so that's what that that's how i thought about it is like okay we're 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 caged up in the barn and then once you, you let us out into the streets that's when we can run free and that's where like i felt i learned a lot more about like my abilities and how to do stilts and stuff um, it was just nice to see me progress. Like I could see it definitely. I, I noticed a big difference, you know, cause, um, you know, it's kind of gets repetitive in the house, but once you get onto the streets, you know, it's a different type of scare and a different, um, different style, you know? Yeah. No. Cause like, and that, and that's the thing unique about what you, you did. I mean, talk to me a little bit about this too, because, um, you know, Horror Nights has a very uh, different structure than most haunts do, 
do it. You know, a lot of the things on the streets and, and in the houses are, are more on a kind of script basis that they, you know, to kind of connect and, and do this story around. How was it uh, going from having that kind of more freedom to talk over at Six Flags to kind of being very limited at what you did in Horror Nights? I mean, it must have been another challenge for you as a scare actor, right? It definitely was a, a challenge because, like, um, you know, my smart ass, like, love to rebuttal people. Like, I love to, like, if you say something smart to me, I'm going to say something better. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard, but I felt more respected um, as a monster at Horror Nights. It, it was definitely a little bit of night and day because, um, you know, Horror Nights has built that reputation of like, you know, these are like monsters. They're going to portray these monsters. And, um, you know, you, they're almost, you almost make believe like, Oh yeah, this, this is a real monster. And they have that almost, um, almost like, uh, how would you say maybe like, um, they have this reputation of like, oh yeah, these guys are legit. Like, you know, you got to respect these guys because they are scary. And, um, you know, I felt more like more intimidating because of like the mask, you know, how the costume, um, you could tell like people were like, okay, yeah, these guys are legit. These, these guys are really scary. And then as far as like Six Flags, you know, it's more funny, more, you know, like at least being a clown is me being goofy or like, uh, you know, I did get my scares and um, I was just more playful, more playful over there at Six Flags, which is a lot of fun. Um, but over there at HHN, it's more like, you know, you got to be a character. You are a little bit more respected because they, you know, it's it's why it's number one every year, pretty much. It's more for them about the uh, they want these these scares and to keeping that illusion alive, as long as you're there to kind of keep that promise that they advertise, you know. So, um, no, yeah, they do a great job, man. I I I love their their system there. It works for them, and you know, you know, you know, you can go to at least one haunt that will have like an actual entire scripted event, um, which will be a lot of fun to kind of get involved with, you know. So, um, yeah. There was a couple times where like I let my mouth slip and like I would say something back and uh, but it was very limited. I didn't say it. I didn't try. To, I didn't talk too much, but there was times where like my mouth would would run a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I could see like my green clown character come out. Green clown came out for the night. <laughs> HHN edition. Um, you know, it, it's it's kind of cool for you, too, because you actually got to go in working this event with two other friends that you were familiar with that had also worked the same exact con. And that was Trix the trickster and Mr. Nate 1000 himself. Um, how was that going into it as you, as a trio that must've been, I mean, I've heard from them what their experiences was about that. What was it more for you? Oh man, that's a lot of fun. Like there's, there's nothing but good things I could say about those guys. Like, um, it's crazy because little by little, um, our Fright Fest family started going to HHN. Um, a couple of our friends started out uh, doing mazes and stuff in like 2019, I believe. And then little by little, they're trying to get us over like, hey, come on over. Like, this is so much fun. Like, you would love it. And like, I just couldn't do that to Six Flags, you know? Like, I was so loyal and, you know, my, you know, the, the boys were there and um, I was like, oh man, like, I, I would love to go. It, it, but I just, you know, I, I, I love a, uh, Fright Fest, so I just can't leave yet. And then once we made the jump, like, it was almost like, you know how they say, like, uh, there's like those TikToks where, like, there's like the dog and you're like, once you reach heaven, your friend wants to meet you again. It was kind of like that. That's what it felt like. All my friends were already there. So I was going into this event with my friends and it felt like I was going home, you know, like yeah right like so for like i i wasn't doing it by myself i had my friends to do it with me so like it wasn't that much nerve-wracking i and it was nice because um i felt like going into hhn being fright fest uh scare actors you know we kind of have that like um 
you know, it's it's like, oh, it's Fright Fest. And like, I, we wanted to show like, hey, Fright Fest has some good talent. Like, you know, we wanted to show HHN that we were good pickups for that event. So it was nice to kind of like represent like an old park with my friends and, you know, show show the new or show the HHN guys like, yo, we can keep up. We are pretty good. Yeah, 100 percent, man. I mean. You look at you look at the the three of you going into this, and it was just like it's really cool to see you guys uh, work with what you had, and and that was a lot of fun. Now I know for you, I mean, I mean, uh, Six Flags for you, uh, distance wise from from where you live to where Six Flags was was uh, you're always a big thing. Um, how was it this year for for Horn Nights? Was it a lot like easier for you for uh, for getting to work and getting back on time or? Yeah, definitely. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge because, you know, I have my day job. Um, so the event runs Thursday through Sunday. So I had to make it work where I had my two days off Thursday and Friday, just because I knew Friday was like a crazy, like rush hour traffic, trying to get home and stuff. And it's always crazy on Fridays, um, in LA. So I made sure I had those two days, Saturdays and Sundays, they're not too busy, but the drive was probably maybe like a 50 minute drive at most. Um, not too bad because I'm coming from Orange County, like all the way to Horror Nights. But, you know, thankfully I had my friend Nate who lives like down the street from from Universal and uh, I crashed on his couch throughout the season. Nice. So I and, and it was rough. It was it was, you know, what he was doing was crazy because he was working every day without a day off until like yeah. the beginning of the week. But for me, I had my two days off Thursday, Friday, and then I'd have to go to work in the morning, Saturday, Sunday, and then shoot back up to universal, um, at night. So that was, that was rough. It was really rough because I'd only have time to like shower at Nate's house, take a quick one hour nap and then head back to work. So we were busy. Both me and him were busy. Damn, man. Now, kudos to you guys for making it work. I mean, I hope to God if you guys do this again next year to have something that's like, okay, you can kind of figure out something that will get you at least a little bit more resting time. Um, yeah. Because, oh, my God, the stories I hear from from everyone is is insane. But I, I praise you guys for it. Um, I, Another thing that I found interesting uh, for you, at least, too, uh, and, and the other two got to do this a couple times, is they actually got to let you uh, kind of move around to the other places to, to scare a couple nights. Talk to us about some of the places you got to do and, and some of the experiences you had from them. Oh man. So a couple of the nights I got to do uh, the four legged toad in the weekend. And you know, like that was so cool. That was so much fun because I remember before the event even started, I thought to myself like, man, that would be such a cool maze to work in. Like I, I, I hope I get casted in that. And sure enough, like, you know, going into the event, they're telling us like, oh yeah, like, um, you know, if everybody gets tired, like, you know, the necessity of, you know, certain mazes, you'll, you'll be able to do different roles. And, uh, one of those roles was to go into the weekend. And I thought that was so much fun. Um, you know, I got to do, it was towards the beginning, I got to go into the weekend. And then there was one night where, um, I actually got to work with Nate 1000, and, you know, he had been there for multiple nights uh, throughout the throughout the event and, um, you know, getting to work with him one of the last few weekends, it was, it was pretty neat because, um, you know, he was stationed at Terra Tram and there's a couple nights where I even went to Terra Tram as well um, to work with him and uh, Tricks the Trickster, she was also there. So I got to work with everybody that I wanted to and... Um, you know, doing, doing the weekend with him, he got, he, he was more familiar with the costume and, you know, gave me tips and stuff like that to, you know, be successful. And there was times where I'm like, oh man, like that makes sense of what he was telling me. Cause like that costume is rough. That, that one was really rough for me. Um, physically it's just, it's so demanding. It's such a big costume and, you know, um, there's there he was telling me one time where like you know he's trying to fix his mask but he can't because he's locked into you know the arm stilts and I that happened to me as well because like there's times where I couldn't breathe as well and I wanted to fix my mask and I'm like uh oh I'm stuck <laughs> so I'm like using the wall to like 
adjust. Like I gotta use my like shoulders and like use what I got, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I so, I um yeah, that was I mean that that four legged toad was really cool. Like it, when it was coming out at, at you, you know, you just you see this thing and you just kinda like you don't know what to do. I've I've actually like I've uh freaking watched people get dropped because of that. I mean, it's so funny. It's such a it's such a good you know scare good costume like that the the makeup team and the mask team that you know made that just like what an incredible job that they did um nothing but good like that compared to the ones in Orlando because I'm not sure if they I'm pretty sure they use different companies but you know um, the mask team that they had here they they freaking killed it they did a such yeah. a great job with that toad. And, um, yeah, that was, that was such a fun experience to get, be able to do different roles and, you know, get to work with my friends and it was really neat. What um, like, you know, I wasn't just stuck in one maze and or like, you know, stuck doing the same repetitive thing every night. So it was nice to move around. Besides La Rona and weekend, did you go anywhere else? Yeah, I went to Terra Tram. Um, uh, I was a biker daddy, uh, nice. skeleton. And, uh, dude, that, I think that was such a fun role to do because, uh, not only was like that mask really light to, but it was just fun because I had, uh, you know, a couple sets with Nate 1000. And then I did a couple sets with, uh, tricks, the trickster. And it was just like going back to the old six flags days, you know, like just, you know, messing around and having fun and scaring people. There was a couple bits that we did and we, we were just like, we were tearing it up and it was so much fun. And. I mean that's that was the funnest thing is is how I got him to do an ex wife joke without even talking, um, so that's a, that's a huge accomplishment his and then, and how I got you to do a you're not that guy pal joke without you even talking <laughs> like the way you guys made it work I'm like hey you know what you got to give them credit they can't talk but they made it work we made it work yeah dude, I remember that you were we were in the that uh the La Llorona scare zone and. I, you you told me you're not that guy pal, and I looked at you and I pointed at the at the ugly thing that was on the screen, and I was like, "You're not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even ugly enough to be that guy." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I always love is like we always have a good time. We always figure out a way to have a good time and make the people around us laugh and make each other laugh. It's always funny, man. That's that's kind of always been our every like for those who don't know, that's always been our friendship. It's just. It, it, that's our dark humor we just love to just make each other freaking laugh and just <laughs> who can handle last laugh you know it's always funny so good always fun time. hey by yeah. the way um uh whoever whoever gave you your haircut you should should ask her for your money back oh yeah my uncle did for free so he owes me money at that point <laughs> 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 um so you, you know you got to go, you got to do this, you know, so much fun things over at Horror Nights this year. I mean, it, it seemed like a blast for you um, to get a, to get that experience under your belt, especially doing multiple things um, over there and stuff. Um, when you would go, I'm assuming you got a, like a night or two where you got to go as a guest. Um, when you would go as a guest, uh, how was it like seeing your fellow... Uh, you know, your fellow monsters out there just tearing up the streets, man, and just everything that they, they bring to the table. So it's, it's, a uh, so I did get a chance to go, um, one of the nights and that was like towards the beginning of the season. Um, but it's funny cause I guess they have this thing where like, you're not, it's kind of like a no, no to go as a guest. Um, but I asked, I, I went straight to the entertainment, um, you know, higher ups. And I was like, Hey, like, I would like to request a day off. Like, am I able to do so? Um, I want to go to the event. And they're like, yeah, as long as you buy a ticket, you request a day off, you're, you're more than, more than, um, welcome to come as a guest. So I was like, okay, cool. So I got with the guys, I got with tricks, I got with Nate and, um, we picked a day and we're like, Hey, let's do it. And uh, it's crazy because, um, you know, they, my our, our fellow scare actors are doing their thing and they pull us aside. They're like, hey, you, you guys, you guys shouldn't be here. You guys shouldn't be here. They're like, no, 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 we're good. We, we requested the day off. We're, 
uh, we got permission. We're good. And like, oh, okay, good. Like we thought that like you just kind of snuck in here. We're like, no, no, no. We didn't call out like that or anything. Like we we requested this day off specifically, and then we bought tickets to come as a guest. And they're like, oh shoot, okay, cool. So all night the people were freaking out. Like, hey, you didn't come. Like, like you didn't call out, did you? We're like, no, no, no. We we're good. Like we got permission. Like but, freaking at least a hundred times that night you were answering. Yeah, seriously. People were like, no, no, no. You can't be here. You can't be here. But no, we but we, the time, we got you're permission. Like, no, requested off, got permission, <laughs> bought ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much on repeat all night. But um, yeah, they they killed it. They it's it was fun to see like, you know, especially the still walkers because that was my role, just to see what they could do. Like I was like, man, that's unbelievably talented. Like I hope to be as good as that one day, you know. And um, little by little, like, I feel like, um, you know, I felt confident enough to where, like, maybe one day, like, I could be in scare zone one or, you know, pick a di- or be in a different scare zone. And um, Now, was this your first role um, at a at a haunt with stilts? Have you never done stilts anywhere else? Never done stilts anywhere else. This was my first time. Um, you know, fun fact, I've actually... You were there for a couple of them too, but the day of the audition, I had only been on stilts probably six times ever in my life. I think one of them was in the parking lot of Halloween Depot. I remember because uh, mm-hmm. uh, we had tricks there, and for those who know tricks, she's a very talented stilt walker too. And and what better person to get advice from or teachings from than her? And she was like, I think for a good like hour or hour and like two, and you guys are just kind of going back and forth uh just kind of doing a little little training here and there and no i mean you were really good for like if that was one of your like first times up you know like you were kind of having the basics down and you were getting the hang of it and stuff like really quick you were a fast learner yeah for it had been like a couple years since i had been on stilts but um when we went in the parking lot uh to practice it was um when we we, we it was pretty it was kind of like riding a bike, you know, I was like, oh man, I, I remember this. I, I can do this. And, uh, she was telling me things, like she was just showing me like the certain um, skills that they were going to have us do during the audition. So we practiced those and, you know, I, I felt confident enough to be like, I can go into this audition and I, I feel like, you know, the practice that I had, like we were just going to make it by, you know, like not that yeah. I was going to like try to do too much. I just wanted to be enough where I wasn't going to fall. I was going to be safe and be able to do this audition clean you know and um yeah i only had been on stilts the day of the uh, the day of the audition had only been like six times so i've never scared i've never put on a costume with stilts like just just put on stilts and just walked around a little bit uh, nothing too crazy now with that being said uh we uh at at horn ice they use the, the more entertainment um stilts that are a lot different from the normal stilts that you see at other places how was that transition going into kind of the more professional level stilts that they uh that they had that they have uh on site compared to the 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 stilts you were used to practicing on so it's crazy because um they i've heard so many people talk about um they're called bigfoots the ones that they use there at uh universal and they're more for performance more you know you can do a lot more things that you could on drywalls and um it was crazy because i've heard all these stories like oh you're gonna feel like you're gonna fall there's there's different you you know just be careful like they're not just they're not like drywalls they're they're more you know they have more articulation to them so just be careful but i felt like the transition from drywalls to bigfoot's was a lot easier and I could feel the difference. And I was like, Oh man, this is like, you know, so much fun. Like I could do this. And so like, I can, and even the day of the audition, like they're telling me like, Hey, like it's, it's kind of like, you're going to feel um, your toe a little bit more. You're going to feel, um, you know, you, you're, you're more balanced and you're going to be able to do more movement. So just, just be aware of that. And when I was on them, I was like, Oh man, this is what they're talking about. Like, it feels great, you know? Yeah. Like the, the jump between stilts was just like night and day. I was like, oh, hell yeah, let's go. So it was it was, it was really, um, you know, I, I felt like it wasn't too much 
of a difference, but it was noticeable where it was pretty easy. Right. Yeah, because I, you know, I've I've heard a couple of things about these stilts, and um, now that you know, you kind of take a look at the stilts that that they have at Universal compared to where you see other places, of how much higher they are as far as when they're walking and stuff, and, and the characters they have on those stilts. I mean, those things look like they're a lot of fun if you know how to use them right. You know what I mean? Like they they look like they're a, a ton of fun to go. Oh, there's play so with. much. Yeah, it's such a blast. Like I like it's crazy because uh, even the other night. Um, I got up on the drywalls at Nate's house just for just for fun, just for laughs and giggles. I got on. I'm like, oh shoot! Like you could, I, I how come it's not moving like the way it used to? But it was just because I was so used to the Bigfoots all season. Like just uh, you know, they're more stiff and they don't do as much as you know the the performance ones do. So so new haunt, new uh, new uh, position. And putting on uh, professional stilts all within your first year at Horn Ice is your rookie season, man. That ain't that something? That is that you know, I'm to this day I'm still in shock of like how what an accomplishment that, you know, all of us, not just myself, but like Nate one thousand, Tricks the Trickster, you know, we got to do something totally out of our element, you know. We're used to falling with style on knee pads. Yeah. And for us to be two feet up and doing something totally completely out of our element is just such an incredible, like an amazing accomplishment for all of us. Like so much fun. And it's like, I'm so proud of all of us to do what we did. I mean, bro, show off the hat, bro. We got to show off the hat a little yeah, bit. Show, the hat. Yeah. Universal still team, baby. Universal there it team is, man. Good. There and it's, it it's is. crazy too, because like, you know, going to this event, like these guys are the best of the best still walkers, you know? They are so talented. Like I, I know coming to this event, like they don't just hire anybody off the street. You know, you got to put in the work. Yeah. And you know, it it shows. Like these guys are so talented. Like to work along these guys. Like these guys have been doing it ten plus years. Some of them, and they're doing crazy stuff. You know, like yeah, man. They're on the stilts doing backwards. Like they're touching the ground and then coming back up. You know, and and surprisingly, like I, I, uh. You know, I, I wanted to try that eventually, and I ended up doing it a couple times towards the end of the season. I got to, you know, do the tricks that they were doing. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm so proud of us to be where we are today, you know. Like, what a great – like, I remember the day that we went to the stilts practice. You know, we, we had a um, – you know, we had to do these um, – you know, exercises and we had to, you know, like, these are our stilts, you know, it's just a full day of like, you know, still training. Yeah. And I remember Nate and I were walking out onto New York street on our stilts and he goes, dude, take a second, look at, take it all in, dude. We're doing it. We're, we're still walkers, bro. Like, look, look, we're, we're on, we're in scare zone one on stilts, dude. Look. And I was like, Oh man, like what a surreal moment that was. Like it, it, yeah. I will never forget that. I will never forget stepping foot in in Scare Zone One and you know, taking it in, you know, to be with my friends and to do something that I'm it's completely different and I have so much fun doing now. Like what an awesome achievement that we, we all of us put in. Yeah. No, you you guys really um uh, were really impressive this year. I got to go a handful of times and, and it was a lot of fun to uh to see what you guys brought to the table this year with a new event and whatnot. Um, I, I, I gotta, I gotta ask the two hard hitting questions now though. Uh, Uh-oh. question one, uh, the future of your haunt career, do you want to come back to Horror Nights? Do you want to try something new next year? Or are you still kind of undecisive? You know, I would definitely, as fun as this season was, and if it's the same type of energy that it was next year, I definitely want to come back to HHN for sure. But, you know, who's to say that Green Clown might not come back next year, you know? You you never know, you know? It it could happen. Could happen. I'm not saying that that it it will, but I'm I'm saying it it could happen. uh, That was going to be my next hard-hitting question is, is this the end of Green Clown? Or? We don't know. We don't know. It could It could happen. Could happen. It could happen. Do you got yeah, your own next, merchandise? Next, 
next next year's the thirtieth anniversary. Next year's the thirtieth anniversary of Fright Fest. So you know. I know. Oh, this so is I've a fun, fun shirt my friend's uh, friend made for me. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Thirtieth anniversary of Six Flags. Fiftieth anniversary of Not Scary Farm. Or I Hollywood is hitting a milestone. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know that they are, but you know, Fright Fest is the thirtieth anniversary, and you know, there could be monsters returning back from way back when. I'm hearing the same thing over at Knots. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it could, it could happen. It could happen. Yeah, who's to say? Who's to say? What's for me to say, right? Um. Blaze, it is always a pleasure talking with you, man. And I'm 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 so happy that you had a great season. I mean, you guys seem like hey, you guys are having a freaking blast out there every time I went. So Dude, congratulations. Had so much that. fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, like what? I'm like even te- like I, I still have that post haunt depression right now. Like I'm still looking at photos from like day one and you know the different roles that I got to do. And I, I miss I miss the people, I miss the chaotic. You know, going into Horror Nights and just, you know, seeing the same friends I have, like, you know, different places, you know, like, oh, where are you going tonight? Oh, I'm in Hotel. Oh, where are you going? Oh, Terror Tramp. Oh, I'm at Universal mm-hmm. Monsters. Like, oh, man, yeah. that's so cool, you know? It, it sucks because, like, I don't see them as often as I as I would want to. So, you know, right now it's still settling. Um, You know, it's still kind of kind of still fresh, but there's always next year, you know? Always next year, man. I mean... <laughs> I'm for it wherever you're at, man. I'll be there. You know I will. I bought a frequent fear pass for you get for you guys this year. So Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I only went five nights, but you know, it was it was every night that I went, I made sure to see you guys or try to the best that I can. Um, but you know, these lines, they were a little chaotic this year. They're crazy. So. They're crazy. That's the, that's crazy like the lines. worst that's the scariest maze of all. The lines. Yeah, waiting the lines, three hours, two hours. I'm like my freaking feet and back are saying nope. <laughs> um, but hey, if anyone wants to keep up with you, man, I mean, where can they find you on social? Uh, I got my uh, my Instagram. Uh, it's going to be dat dude blaze. Um, I have my beacon on there. It's got my uh, I also have a podcast called three. Well, actually, not it's not just mine, but, you know, me and the brothers have a pro- podcast. It's three clowns, one mic. Um, I got my merch on there. Uh, I did want to start a YouTube channel. I'm still debating on that. Still, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. You know, I'm not that that talented. <laughs> I think you. I think you can. Uh, I think you can be big, my friend. Uh, we, we'll try. We'll we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah. So my my Instagram is d a t dude blaze, and uh, you can find all my stuff there. I'm still waiting for that podcast invite. Oh yeah, dude, let's do it. Let's do it. We I literally talked to the brothers the other day. I was like, hey, because I saw you, you're you're putting out all these these episodes and stuff. I'm like, oh man, it's so that's that's so fun. Like I want to get back into it. And uh awesome. I was like, hey, you guys down? And they're like, let's do it. Let's let's do let's it. Do let's it. freaking do it. Let's get it. All righty. You heard it here first. <laughs> Three clowns, one mic be returning real soon. Real soon, real soon. Keep an eye out for real that. Real soon. Keep an eye out. Exclusive. Get a lot of. I've got a lot of exclusives this season. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's been an incredible journey, and I, I love that you you got to be back uh, two consecutive years now. Uh, so welcome back for the second time. I think it's just, thank you for having me. Thank second. you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was a fun time. So hey, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification be where every time we put up a new video. Smash that like button. Leave some comments down for my boy, Blaze. He uh, says some nice things because this guy is super fucking talented. He's one of my good friends. And uh, I always look forward to seeing what he does every single fucking season. So that's for you, Blaze. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's green clown. Yeah, boy, yeah. yeah, green horse. Green horse. <laughs> Whose uh, horse is that? Whose <laughs> horse is that? If you guys want to go an extra step further, we have social media. Follow us on uh, Twitter at Nights of Horror and on TikTok and Instagram at The Nights of Horror. Uh, but if nothing else, I'm your host, Anthony. That's that dude, Blaze. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for another episode. Hell yeah.